before I go on stage, I always get butterflies in my stomach. I can't talk. There's this uh, nervous energy that I can't get rid of. Um, and I think it's because of the not wanting to disappoint my, uh, you know, my chamber group. Um, but then the moment the music actually starts, that goes away mm -hmm. because I have to remind myself the audience is there to listen, right? Incredible spectrum of emotions and expression and celebrates human life. Um, and so we hope we can get that across to you and that you can fall in love with classical music. We hope and I hope that the sounds that we make um, is not confined to a genre or some kind of image um, that preconceived. Uh, what do you have? What is a gift that God has given me that you can give back and bless other people? Um, and so that's how music got started too in my life is um, being able to play and make other people happy or um, and that has evolved as I have you know really developed and uh, developed my playing um, into I want my music to meet wherever my listener is so if you are sad and you're going through mourning I want my music to be able to be a part of the healing process or if you are just um, experiencing so much um, anger or something that somehow the music can bring peace and relaxation um, and so I would love so oh, yeah we just want to be uh, accompanying you uh, wherever you are. Not knowing how we would play together because we never have and in that moment when we first started and it sounded like oh it was it's gonna be okay mm -hmm. it's gonna be a good concert um, that was a great realization like wow we we, we can do this together. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think what's great about being a part of this group is that um, because I know Danny and Misha have their own unique voices and their interpretation um, and their strong ideas and so it pushes me also to keep expo exploring and keep um, raising the roof, the level of, uh, of what I can contribute to the group. Create mm -hmm. something even bit bigger than myself mm -hmm. and that's the most exciting part I think of being part of this group. Being unable to mm -hmm. meet together um, or unable to play for people, it was, I think, one of the biggest um, eureka moments. Like, wow, this is so crucial to have an audience to play for. <laughs> Mine, you know, I, I listen to what I want and throw, toss out what you know, is inappropriate. Um, but besides that, I've grown to become more inappropriate. <laughs> 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 More ballsy too. So. Um. Absolutely, very crucial um, for a musician to be versatile mm -hmm. um, because music exists not only in one language. Of for chamber music, it enriches my ability to listen and to actively engage and respond to the mm -hmm. people I play with, mm -hmm. um, and make sure we play with one idea. That is the challenge. Do I get to have my own vo voice, but mm -hmm. I also get to collaborate. Mm -hmm. And I have to remind myself, the audience is there to listen, right? And I am there to give. And so when I focus on that more, then I can immediately open up and kind of remind myself the main purpose. And that what, that's what gives me peace during the performance.